Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Space Engineers on the Radio Man 03, and you can bet it's awesome to have you along. Today we're working on our capital ship some more. I've uh, got the uh, Weevil, I think, ready to go. More parts being made, and uh, we're going to jump right in and get started on it and do some welding today first off. I think I may have the supplies we need at base, the ores, to get this done. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, thanks for being here. Hope everyone's doing great. I am doing fantastic. It is a Wednesday morning. And we are off. No, it's Tuesday morning. <laughs> it's Tuesday. No, it's Wednesday. What day is it? I love that. <laughs> I love not knowing for sure. Losing track of time is a beautiful thing. Usually I'm happy to see me on vacation. Uh, so yeah, I've got the Weevil loaded up with a bunch of materials to start doing some welding on our capital ship. Let me take you for a little jaunt over here and show you what I've done. Uh, I've added a few more pieces, parts to it just to give the neck a little more body to it. And a little add addition to the side here on the ship. And I've got her welded up back to about this point right here as you can see. Uh, the next thing I did was I added an extra few windows across the top here. And that's it. And then I've added a door onto the side of the ship so that we have an entrance and an exit off the main, um, you know, main uh, control room, Harry, where we're going to be, you know, using the con to, of course, fly around on the ship. So that's what I've done so far in here. Uh, this room is a little bit bigger, so this is nice. I may put the cryopod up in here. I'm not sure as of yet. I've also added a door right here, so we can come in, shut the door, hit the ladder, and down we go, like so. Just war, hello. It's Wednesday. Okay, thank you, because I wasn't sure what day it was anymore. <laughs> I know. They're starting to blend together for me, which is actually kind of nice. So we've got our ladders coming down to here. This is probably going to be the cryopod room. We'll put the cryopod in here so we can sleep in this area. We'll see. We'll have to see what happens. We have a door here. I think we may have done that together, and I have my stairs down to this part and then stairs down to the very bottom floor here of the capital ship. So that's how it's looking on the inside at the moment. Uh, and I did a little bit of welding in here too. But the Weevil is set to go, so I thought maybe we'd grab the Weevil and, um, you know, give it a whirl. Yeah, it's Wednesday. <laughs> oh, man. I've been getting up each morning at uh, just before 5 a.m. and then going outside and doing a bunch of yard stuff before I come in here to do this, and uh, it's been working out pretty good. And number four, let's give it a whirl, and let's turn number five on too so we have some lights also. I think, I think I'm going to be okay. I've got quite a bit of weight in the ship, but it looks to me like we're going to be all right. This is good. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit, too, so we can see what we're doing. Oh, the, I forgot to show you the thruster, too. I've got an idea as to where I'm going to put the uh, rear thrusters on the ship, too. Let's get some welding done. Dragon, good morning. Thorvald, good morning. Thanks for being here. Somebody asked me in the comments last episode why I wasn't using the Weevil to uh, weld the ship. And um, my answer to that was because we were working on the shape at the moment. Just kind of getting an idea for that. Iron Viper, hello. Looks like I used up everything we've got except for maybe some steel plate going in.
taking my time because I'm not good at this at the moment. This is why also I was using the hand method of welding at the time because it was just a little easier to zip back and forth to get to the parts and everything. Uh, but now with we're, we're just since we're just doing the main body of the ship, this is a much easier way, of course, to do this. Uh, let's go down. Oh, down. I'm sorry. And can I lock? No. There we go. Lock. Inventory. And then what I'm doing is I'm coming over here and I'm typing in the Weevil. Weevil Cargo. Yeah, we used everything. That's awesome. And then I'm coming over here and hiding the empty here. This seems to work out pretty well for me. We've got more stuff being made. And I've got a bunch of stuff in here that's done already. There we go. I think we're getting everything. I hope we are. Too close. Too close. I'm bumping. Coming together now. Let me see if I can get myself like this. You are not making anything at all at the moment. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make another ten thousand of those. Those crank out pretty fast. And then over here, uh, I'm not making any more of the grids either. I should probably do one, two, three, four, five more of those. Get five thousand of those going again too. It looks like it uh, finished up on production. Let's go take a look at the ship again, in case you guys just got here and you didn't see. Um, uh, okay, so the, the thruster, I'm going to put our reverse thrusters over on the sides right here. So what I did was I just kind of cut out the edge of the ship, uh, this area right here, and just kind of slid that back and then created a, a piece of body to go around it here. So that's where our big reverse thrusters are going to be uh, housed. Now I may take and put in a few of the smaller ones as well, and we'll chisel out an area where we can put those in. Uh, later they may even go right down like right in here. We could put a few right there if we needed to so that's where the reverse thrust is gonna go uh, What else did I do on here? I kind of changed this up so it kind of blends in better in this area uh, So it was just coming in and I was grinding blocks out and putting blocks in and just kind of going back and forth and seeing what I liked I added this on to here to kind of bring the neck down into here from this area I tried to use the block that would blend from here to here, but then it doesn't really match up with this guy up here, so I didn't bother with that. I added sort of a little, um, I don't know, some kind of an outcropping on the side of it there. Uh, we added a few more windows on the top, and I sloped these blocks on the inside of the glass just so we would um, have a little more headspace up by the glass windows. And, and I added this door over here, which I thought turned out actually pretty cool. I'm, like, I'm really happy with the door here so that when we're, you know, floating around out there, we can, of course, just uh, oop, turn the dampers back on. Uh, there we go. And then I can come in here, hit that door, airtight, and boom, we come inside, and now we're inside the ship. So that's going to be the way this works out. Let's go ahead and charge ourselves a little bit here, too. 
PPR Gaming TV, good afternoon. How are you today? Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastico. Outside of forgetting what day of the week it was at the beginning here, I'm, uh, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> and then if you didn't notice, we've got the uh, we've got the ladders. I'm going to keep the ladders just because it's, I don't know, it's fun. So we're going to do that. If you don't know, when you get to the bottom ladder, you just hit the space bar, just jump, and he detaches from that. Uh, it took me a second to figure that out. And then, voila, we're out here. And then we've got our room where we've got our gravity generator. I'm thinking about putting the cryo. Let's take a look at the cryopod. Cryopod, cryopod, there we go. There's multiple versions of this, huh? There's the, oh, the medical room, all the medical stuff is in here, I see. So the cryopod we could put up in here uh, and have it in this location here so that we just have to come down from the main cabin uh, to be, you know, in this area. And then we'll, we'll pipe it in. Uh, is there a connection on the bottom? There is no connection on the bottom of this, but there is one in the back. So what I'm thinking is maybe what I'm going to have to do is take some of these side wall blocks here and turn those into conveyor tube blocks so that we can pipe uh, juice up into this room. We'll put this here and then uh, maybe the medical room in here too. Would the medical room fit in here decently or is it going to look weird? Uh, we could get it to fit. We could get it to fit. Well, that's going to block the stairs though. I didn't really give us a whole lot of room up here. I guess what I could do instead of the medical bay is do the survival kit. Is that going to give me all that I need, though, from the survival kit? That'll increase my O2, right? And do my health. So maybe that's what I do instead of this large medical bay. The medical bay is nice because then you go in there and you can change your, um, uh, your, your gear that you're wearing, your suit. Uh, gloves, you know, all that stuff could be changed uh, when you have that little chamber right here that we're looking at. Uh, but I don't know that it's necessary to actually have that whole thing, is it? What do you think? Oh, check air tightness, huh? Uh, yeah, it'd be nice if you could check air tightness. That would be a good thing. Uh, oh, speaking of air tightness, that could be kind of a fun thing to do. We've got uh, these window blocks. Barred window. Uh, so, what is this here? Vertical window. We could do something like this over the front of uh, this guy here. Like that. That could be kind of cool. To kind of house that in there and keep it just a little bit safer. Medroom is just a faster option according to the Just War. That's kind of what I thought. Okay, so the survival kit works slower. But it does work in the same fashion. So, I'm, you know, what is it? Maybe... A f five seconds, ten seconds out of my life extra that I'm going to have to stand there and uh, recharge. So that would uh, kind of take care of my um, my situation in terms of space. Uh, let's go survival. Let's take a look. I, if I remember right, yeah, it's pretty tiny. And then I've got room. I've got other options in this. The assembler, industrial assembler. Oh, wow, those are all in here, huh? Huh. So yeah, I could put a survival kit here next to the cryo chamber, and this is where I would fill my O2. No, the cryo chamber fills everything, correct? So the cryo chamber really does, but it doesn't do your health. That's what the cryo chamber doesn't do, huh? The cryo chamber does not help you with, uh, with health issues. So you do need both. But that would look nice in here. It would fit, and then if we have the cryo right next to it, you know, that would be kind of cool. Just the medical bay, the, the uh, survival kit, and this guy right next to each other. That would look pretty sweet. And then on the other side of the room, we would have room for, say, the bedroom piece or the bathroom or, you know, those kinds of things in here. So then we have our stairs that come down, and we've got a door here. Of course, we need a door. And then we've got our stairs coming down into the main cargo area slash uh, work area and stuff like that. And boom, look at that. We're getting all welded up in here. Does, is it hitting everything properly? Looks like it is, huh? So far, so good. Maybe we could work a little bit on this compartment over here, because I do want to change this room right here. This room's not going to be like this. Give that a little time to, um, you know, do what it's doing. We'll map something out over here, since uh, we're waiting for our materials for the capital ship. I don't want to just sit here idle. It surely is. And 
don't call me Shirley. And uh, back to our inventory. Here we go. We'll see what we need over here. Did I drop some pieces, parts, didn't I? Didn't they fall from the... They're in here. The freighter is probably falling around. I just noticed that it uh, it seems to be over in, on my end uh, a little bit more than I'm used to seeing. It could be my imagination because we had that attack finally and I, I got to thinking, you know, maybe maybe by, you know, lowering my status with the SPRT that they are going to be more apt to uh, start sending stuff my way. I know that's how that works in Imperion. Uh, the, the more angry they get with you, the more encounters you seem to have with the uh, Xerax. It is probably my imagination, though. Okay, so this is going to be sort of a, um, I guess kind of a wreck area is what I was thinking about. Let's take that off, that, and that. So I've got my blocks on the hot bar. I'm going to need, uh, I'm, I'm going to stick with these guys right here. I think if I use the half window, does this give me all the options? It does give me all the options. So we'll use that guy right there. And we definitely want, ooh, should I bubble the glass out? That might give it a better look to have kind of the curved glass as opposed to the um, square glass. It's supposed to look like a sun porch on the side of a house, basically, right? That's kind of what I'm doing here. We've got some rounded options here, but not very many. So we got that, that, and that. That's pretty much it. But when it comes to the square stuff, we have quite a few options. There's these other windows here, too, that are pretty nice. Maybe these in the bottom with the glass attached to them on the top. We'll take a look at that. Viewport 1 and Viewport 2. What is the difference between these? Wasteland Pack. They are windows that fit flush with armor blocks and combine easily with desks and kitchens. Combine easily with desks and kitchens. Passage 3... These are the passage blocks. Those are pretty cool, too. I really like those. I remember you say that that freighter will just kind of, once I, um, if I were to go after it, it would just take off and, and flee, huh? Hmm. If placed right, assembler will hold four upgrades. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have them placed right. I don't. I know I don't. I know. I have failed. Embrasure. I'm going to take a look at... What is this here? A weapon? Okay, that's the weapon rack and stuff. Now, let's go back down here to the window blocks. We're looking at windows. Let's grab that and grab that and see what the difference are between the two. I'm not quite sure exactly what is the difference. Um, bum, 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 bum. That's a slope. We need the window flat and the window slope. Indeed. Now these have glass in them, right? Or maybe they don't have glass. The barred windows have the same integrity as glass windows, but are not airtight. Ah, great for keeping big spiders outside. Okay, gotcha. Okay, that answers that then. So let's go ahead and do number six. I want to see what these. If there's a difference between these. It looks like this one is like that, and this one has the guts showing on either side, which I'd seem to like the guts showing. Uh, much better. It gives more personality or maybe a combination of both, right? If you remember the rounded gl corner glass is what was the issue with air tightness. Yeah, I guess that was the case, huh? Was it that or was it the rounded block this this one here this metal one in Irregardless. Yeah, it was a problem, but now it's not so I don't know that the rounded glass is is it was it this piece in the corner here? Was this the problem I had? This guy here, when it was glass, because these work just fine now. We do have air tightness in there. I just never have it on because I'm going in and out constantly. Uh, but I feel like these guys are airtight now. I thought it was one of the blocks we had up against the edge. I should. I feel like I should be able to put glass around this, but maybe not. I don't know. Well, we're going to go with um, 
We're gonna go with these guys instead. So if I take a number six, let's get number six. And if I bring that out, well, I might as well bring it all the way out to here. If I do that there and I put a second one here and I take a number seven and put the one with the guts kind of in the middle, just to give it like it's got some, you know, functionality going on there. And then I add uh, a number, let's see, if we go every other maybe, that could look kind of cool. And we put you in there, we do that. And I've got two more blocks here and I think I'll keep these open for us to be able to walk through. How's that sound? I think that's a good idea. And then what I'm thinking is if I go, well, if I start it over here, spin it around, right, round, 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 uh, do that right there, then that gives me a block here to put in, and then we're going to need that, and then we're going to need that, and then we're going to need that. So then I go back with a 7, and I put the 7 one with the sexy guts, oh, I've got a light right there, there we go, and we put you right there. And we will zap you right on out of here. I decided to make this room a little bit bigger so it would be useful to us and we'll be able to do something with it. Uh, is that going to be okay? It looks like it's up against the pipe, but I think we're fine. Oh, you know what the issue is here. Where am I going to put my door? I need to figure out where I'm going to put my door to exit here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. So this could be... This could be our exit right here, and we'll put a rail on here. I was thinking of actually putting a piece of catwalk along all this, this from there over to here. So when you step out, you've got that extra little bit to stand on. But of course, you're hanging out over the void of space. <laughs> oh, indeed, that would be fun. All right, let's go like this, and let's get, uh, well, let's go control two, three. Uh, control four, maybe? Is that empty? No. How about five? There we go, control Energy five. Low. Oh jeez. Said mom. Okay, uh, let's let's get to the tick. Must have a door. Yeah, this way we've got uh, the the base has got time to make the pieces parts we need for the uh, capital ship build. And then we can just kind of focus on doing something else. There's always something else to do in Space Engineers, right? It's all up to your imagination, which is always the greatest of things. So let's go G. And then I need to go to my character tools. And I need to grab you, put you down here. I'm going to put him down here. I never use him, but he's always on number three where he belongs. And that's where I want him. All blocks. We're going to grab this. Um, we'll grab this light armor block. We'll grab uh, this one, this one, this one. Uh, might as well grab that one too. And then I need the doors. Door. We'll grab this guy and actually take him off. And then we'll grab this guy right here. Boom. So if I take number nine, numero nino, and I put you... Whoop, gonna spin you around. Or do I want to have that other door? If we do him here... We should be able to put that uh, offset door. Wait, what is this? What is this one? What is this door? Ooh, what is that? Oh my, that's cool looking. Eh, it looks like a vault door, huh? I think we didn't use a sliding door because it tends to go into the walls, huh? So here, we're going to put you right there. So we are going to have to do that cat walk out here. Let's go cat. Wow. Let's do that. We'll grab you. And we're going to put you onto this right here. Will you stick to this? You will. Okay. Um... Oh, I need to go to the top, though, huh? Mm-hmm. I need something over here for it to butt up against, don't I? To make that work. So if I put this here, then I can do number eight, and it would sit up against that right there. But if I take that off, it's just going to fall. That's kind of a bummer. That part's a bummer. Because now i got to put something underneath there just to make that work. 
Um, any suggestions? Aunt Momentura, why a door? Why not leave it open to the fresh air? <laughs> exactly. Oh, it's fresh, all right. It's chilly, too. It's very chilly. Um, I guess I could put a light there, or maybe... I mean, I could start it here. I could do something like that right there. No, that's not going to work for me. I mean, I could do that and have it come over there. I really don't want to do that, though. And then we're going to come along here like this with this guy. Uh, turn T off. Ooh, that's tight right there. But that's okay. I want that room, like I said, uh, construction components. Okay, let's get some construction components. We'll grab, uh, yeah, 30 of those. That should work for, for, for right now. As we design our exterior here. I suppose there's a small block I could put there, huh? Six. Let's see. Is there a, a, a nice small block that I could put there? I mean, I could do something like that just to, as a, a kind of a buttress there. The small edge block looks like a 45 degree. Use a metal plate on top. A metal plate. So you guys talking about uh, this fella here? Light armor panel? Plate. Steel catwalk plate. Is that is this the one we're talking about? Oh, I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you, man. That would work, huh? Is that what it does? It. it Oh, okay, okay, okay. That is that is a good suggestion. Thank you. I didn't even know that thing existed. <laughs> That's why you're here. All right, let's... Um, we needed some steel platage, right? Uh, yeah, let's grab a couple, couple of them guys. All right, let's do it. That's nice. I like that. That is a great solution. Thank you very much. Perfect. Now, if I leave that there, I should be able to take this out of here, and it shouldn't fall. Yeah, that's what I thought. Make sure I didn't damage that. Do that right there. We do this. Now we've got our catwalk all along here, which gives us a little extra space as we come out the doorway. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Okay. We'll weld together what we can. Empty our inventory a little bit. Okay, and then let's go ahead and go in and we'll give that uh, that little container a click there. We're using some of the stuff that, of course, we're going to need for the ship, but that's okay. As long as we're having fun, that's the main thing. Uh, interior plates. Okay, right. We'll add anything we can. No? Okay, so again, I guess I gotta go back and just re-click on that. Yoink. Oh, the build pointer is empty, huh? Okay. I guess I need to do that a little bit more. Do that six more times. The panel would have worked also. That The one that I picked out originally it would have, but this one is a little bit flusher to the ground, I think. I like the fact that that sits down to the, flat to the ground like that. Really flat. Hmm. 
Ten small. I cannot withdraw ten small. Okay, so I'm 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 run out of I think tubes is what it's the problem is here. Yeah, I've run out of the stuff I need. The small steel tubes. All right, let's go see if we get those made. What are you guys going to be taking? Uh, we probably have the stuff we need for these guys right here. And this door. What does the door make? It's got steel tubes as well. Small steel tubes. Okay, this is working on the stuff that we asked it to do. It's got a whole bunch more to do, but I bet if I do a hundred of those, maybe two hundred of those, and then I think that's all I need, and then I'll restart this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of those, and that should be good to go right there. Okay, that's working on it. Okay, let's make sure this, the planner is just completely cleared out. We have just those guys left, I think. And this guy right over here, too. You're done? You're done. Okay, you're 100% functional. Okay, beautiful. Well, that catwalk over there. That way, when we get the door put in, we can at least walk in and out of there without, you know, drifting off into space. Oh, you know what? I need to bring this down one more. Hold on. Hold on. Hold everything. No, I don't. This is right. That's right. Energy low. You don't say. Thanks, Just War, for confirming that for me. Greatly appreciated to have everybody here this morning with me. Thanks for being here. And we're full. Awesome. Okay, now. I like it. I like having that there. I almost think I'm going to have to add some more of these on here just to make it look like there's a reason for it being here, other than the fact it's this. Uh, maybe this one should change to one that comes and turns the, uh, yeah, you know what, let's, let's do that instead. I'm going to take you out, and let's go back to eight, and let's do, there it, there it is, that's the one I'm looking for. The end rail right here, that way, I think that looks a little bit better. Takes kind of the focus off of this block being right here. A little bit. So let's change that around. And we'll put that back in over here too. Yeah. It turns the metal a different direction, but it is a corner, so I mean, what are you going to do, right? What are you what are you going to do? It it just has to be that way. Be kind of cool if you could actually adjust the grid of the floor to make it flow uh, with the whole thing. But I guess you got to turn at some point, right? Well, I, that looks okay. Hmm, maybe I'm just seeing things. Yeah, see, no, this is, this is going this way, and this is coming this way. Is there a different corner catwalk? There's just the one corner, right? That's interesting. It uh, it fit perfectly over on that side, but do the, the 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 turn here on this side, it does not fit properly. You've got the grate going this way, which doesn't line up with this over here. But down on this end, of course, since it's facing the opposite direction here, it does fit just perfectly here. Is, is that right? Or am I lost my mind? Anyways, it looks beautiful. I love it. Okay. So uh, we're going to have to do some of these guys here, but let's go ahead and finish kind of getting this organized and, and how it's going to be. Number six. And what am I going to put in this corner over here? Hmm. <laughs> I got all my different windows in here. 
go back to the window blocks and take a look. What would look good right there? If I were to put those together in the corner, what block could I put in that corner to fill that area in? Now I'm thinking what I do is I... Can I even do that? You guys take up that space. Okay, so I do need a solid block right here. So, I mean, I could do this guy. I could do him right there. It, can, it may look a little wonky in here, though, for this to, to fit in. You guys think maybe, you know, it's, it's got an area we could walk in, but I think this is going to show the end of it. Let's put these two together and see what they look like. Can I put any parts in here? Put a little bit of parts in there. All right, let's, let's get those zapped again. Gosh, I think I'd actually be better off with just putting a block in there instead, like maybe our curved one. Number five, what is number five? Is this... I could put this guy in there and he'd look, I think he'd look just as good right here. And it would line up with the rest of the base as well. Oh, I wonder if I could do this guy, but I don't know that he would be actually airtight. If I stood him up... I'd turn him around this away. Would that work? Let's see. Let's see what he looks like in here. I don't think it's going to fill that void. I think it's going to look kind of weird, but I want to see what it looks like anyways. So yeah, I could do that there. The end of the windows don't look bad, but I think the rounded block is going to look better. I think that's going to look better. Uh, oh, woman shirt, woman shirt. Yeah, we are. We, uh, we've we got the weevil out. Uh, we are just getting more pieces, parts put together so that we can go out, but we have definitely welded uh, a little bit more of the ship up over here. We've got all this taken care of at the moment and uh, on top, and we're just kind of waiting for it to make some more girders, uh, some more grates, and some more steel plates for us. Let's do that. Let's, let's put a few of these together and see what it looks like. Oh, perfect. I forget that I can go just to... That's got a weird... That's got a different sound to it. Cannot withdraw a bulletproof glass. That's funny. These sounded different. Almost like they were muffled. Not quite sure what was going on there. Uh, oh, I should make sure this is going to work here. So this guy is going to go right here. But then we've got the pipe right there. So I've gone one too many here. Oh, boy. Um, I guess I could cut that pipe and put a connector in there. Or... Because, see, yeah, I, I tried to put the door in the middle here, and now it's, just, it's not going to be in the middle anymore. Saberwolf, hello. Welcome to the stream. Edofix, good evening to you. Hope things are well in your part of the world. So, all right, so maybe I don't worry so much about having the door right in the middle, but I, I think a, a better solution, instead of cutting this pipe, which I really don't want to do... What if I take these two out and we go back to here and we just take and put the regular one there and then uh, I need number five. That's a heavy one, no. Number, f is it four? 
Number five. There we go. I put you right there, and then I could bring my blocks down over here. Do you, and then a seven. A six, a seven, and a six. Uh huh. <laughs> we got an issue with this here. All right, so this has got to go. And we're going to put the number six here. And over here, we'll put... We don't really need a window here because we're not going to be going out there. So we'll go back to... Number five here, take the number four and do us a... Oh, maybe it's not four. Maybe it's, 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 it's the number six block that's got the slab. There it is, right there. We'll do this guy here. Right there. The window here is fine because we've got a little more space. Although, once we put modules back here... That could change, but you know we can we can wait until that happens at that point in time. Let's grab all those pieces, parts. Uh, bulletproof glass is going to be our enemy here. It looks like. Excellent. Get that door welded up as well. Energy low. Mm-hmm. I heard you. Uh door. Beautiful. We have our room. Let's go get uh, let's go get juiced up. Just change the tubes to square ones so they look like part of the wall. Uh, I guess that would have been an option too, huh? Turn these into the square ones that are... Um... See, I like the industrial look of the pipes. That's why I've got the pipes here. I know what you're talking about, though. Those conveyors that are... We're going to use these, these conveyors in the ship. Uh, these square ones here, these reinforced conveyors. We're going to use those. But I think I like the I like the pipe better here. Now, what I'm wondering is, I've done all this work with these guys here. Is this actually going to be? Is this going to work well for the glass? That I don't know. I'm going to be going from a rounded glass here to a squared off glass. You know, I could. I can keep this kind of short as well. Let's go back to one. We've got the glass in here, right? And let's go back to G. And let's get rid of you and you and you. And let's grab you and you. Again, this could be our issue with the um, air tightness, huh? There's so many neat, neat colors, though, for it, 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 options for it. I think that's the wrong. So is this round window inverted there too? It, it is right. It's there. I'm just not. I'm just not getting it. There it is. There it is. Uh, no, we wanted. We want it tinted on the outside. I was. I was right to begin with. So if I do this over here. We've got to do the curved glass right there. Uh, let's go number six, and we'll put this guy right in here if I can get him to do what I needs to do. I guess I'm going to have to fly a little bit. If I do that. I should be able to put you right here and you right here. Now, how's that going to match up with? I guess that's going to go right over the top of the door. It could. 
This is nothing set in stone here. It's just glass. I don't know. He made a funny. Let's do that right there and zap, zap, and a zing. And then we'll do a number six right here. Ugh. We could do that. I'm not super thrilled the fact that we got this gap up here. But we're going to have to make sure, you know, housekeeping gets this top ledge cleaned off really, really well. Now, if I do that there, I could come in and I've got the bigger glass pieces, right? Don't we have a really large one that is uh, an option for us? There's like a big, big one. Two by three flat. Wow. That's a big fella. Oh my gosh, that works out really well. And then I can put the thin ones just in the back. Use the smaller ones in the back there or do some kind of a block right back there too. That would look pretty good. Hey there, Samurai. Glad you're here. Thanks for being here. There's a three by, did I, did I just use a three by three? I can't, uh, yeah, no, this is a two by three, huh? Oh, is there a three by three? Oh, maybe it's inside this other block. Oh, there is a three by, okay, let's try that one. Jump, Ronan, jump. Okay, there we go, and back to, was it seven? Yeah. Oh, and then I could do the I could do the other one. Oh, beautiful. Okay, thank you. That's nice. Okay, two by three, inverted, and I can do that one over here. Oh, sweet. Look at that. Okay, so hold on. I want to go out here and see if I like the way that looks, being shorter than what it was. It used to kind of scale up onto the building, and now it's not doing it. But that looks kind of cool. What what do we put in there? What goes in this room? Do we just do tables and chairs and stuff like that? Just a place to come out of the, the mining area, the refining area? I kind of like the way it sits like that. Let's go over here too and see. If we're coming up on it, it looks kind of cool like that. I like that. That's pretty awesome. Come in. We're inside. Bada boom, bada bing. Close that door right there. And we've got a room over here. So maybe we should put a few of these together just to see what it looks like. Uh, uh, uh. You sick yet? <laughs> Let's do that and uh, zap. Uh, yeah, I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff. I kind of figured I would be. Yeah, okay, we, we're missing the girders and stuff. But that would look pretty nice, I think. Maybe the corner metal, maybe these guys right here should be um, the block instead of the glass, just so it looks a little more uh, complete. Let's go, I think it's, is it on number five? Yeah, number five. If I do this guy right here, that might look a little bit better. It gives it a little more structure in the corners to hold all that glass up because that's a lot of glass. That could look good right there. I think I want to go with that right there. Let's yank this out of there and let's put that in like so. Yeah, I like that better. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, can I grab more parts out of here? Boink, there we go. Yeah, we got everything we needed now. Almost everything we needed. Oh, I like that. Okay, this is this this looks better over here. 
You know what a mod I would be interested in is if there is, and let me know if there's a mod that has a variety of furniture and plants. Have I ever thought of a glass floor? Jeez, just Ward. Talk about scaring the crap out of me. Can you imagine <laughs> walking around on a glass floor? I don't know, man. That sounds scary. I told you my wife came in here one day and I was playing and I... I told her, I, I went out like this. And she goes, what's below you? And I said, oh, there's nothing. <laughs> it's just a planet. Yeah, flipped her out. She's like, there's no way I can play this game. She could not do it. You know, I could be in space, but don't you dare stick me in the ocean with sharks. I will freak out. Uh, boom. <laughs> we got two of those, and I'm going to jump two and a two. There we go. Beautiful. Lovely. Uh-oh, I think we're running low on some of our pieces, parts for this stuff. There we go. And how we doing? Oh, I think I flew myself into there a little bit. Yeah, I think I might be out of parts now. Let's see. We'll, 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 we'll try it out and see if I can get this finished up. Oh wow, I need some major bulletproof glass. That one's full. Yeah, this is going to take a little bit more work to get this done. You know, it might not be... Well, no, if I was sitting in here, I would definitely want to be able... If I'm, Let's say I'm eating out here and I've, you know, this is a nice little lounge area for our employees and stuff. Because the bottom downstairs area is also like that... So maybe something else should go in here. I don't know. I haven't come up with an idea yet. I just know that to give to make this structure here look more interesting, I've got to have something out here that sits. That just, you know, it's got to have different levels to it. And it, it just helps it. So that's why I want this out here. It's It doesn't really serve any purpose other than for looks and the fact that I love to build. So maybe we do something like that. Let's go ahead and see if I can get some bulletproof glass going. Are you done yet with your production? No, you're still cranking out a bunch of metal plates. Okay. Um, oh boy, there she is again. There she is again. Thank God she's here, otherwise I'd be dead. Oh, Morris is back. Hey, welcome back, yeah. So you got your power and your internet back, obviously, and uh, you're not in the dark anymore, huh, Morris? Oh man, how did you fare? Did you, you're home okay? Everything's good? Space sharks, <laughs> that'd be funny. Wish SE would have danger on planets too. Well, they're working on an AI thing, so there's more coming to the game. Believe it or not, it, as old as the game is, there's more stuff coming. They are currently doing an AI update. So we are going to have more enemies, I think, in space and on planets. So, I mean, we've got the enemies, what, we got the wolves, right? Which eat your base. It just doesn't make any sense to have a wolf eating a base made of metal and glass. So that doesn't really, you know, appeal to me. But... If they're going to have uh, space alien AI and stuff, which of course we're in space, so we're aliens as well. We're all aliens. Um, it would be... I I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be exciting. So I think it's going to be fun. So there is more coming to this whole thing. Uh, we're going to make some bulletproof glass. Morris came within one inch of flooding the house. Got lucky. Oh, thank goodness. I'm glad to hear that. So you just missed out on the flooding. That is great. Get that out of there, and you're gonna be ma you're making those uh, bulletproof glass. I need let's make a I guess a couple hundred of those, and we'll we'll grab those and pull those over here. There we go. I forgot I could do that. I forgot I could take and drag these over and, and change what it's working on. Yeah, and there's spiders. I know there's spiders too. Now spiders are okay. They they kind of make sense. Uh, they're that's cool. But wolves that eat metal, it just uh, it, it didn't really thrill me when I heard that. 
So I, I turned the wolves off because I've played with the wolves before and it, it's, it's more of a pain than anything else. How much more do I need? You're done. These are some big windows here, huh? Oh wow, I didn't make nearly enough. Okay, I need to make way more than what I set it up for. I need to do let's do let's do 300 of those instead. We'll put those guys in. We should be able to go fill the weevil up again and uh, do a little more welding on the capital ship also. Let's get this glass taken care of and we'll go do that. Uh, new AI has not been added yet, but it is coming. That's what they're working on right now. They're trying to make everything feel more alive and and uh, more immersive. I, I feel like space is very immersive as it is, but they are going to, they are working on that. So it's not there yet, but it's coming sometime in the future here. There we have it. We have our new outdoor room. I hope this will be airtight. I guess we could test that. If we close those doors right there and we close our front door, we should be able to turn the vent on and see if it's airtight. I believe I've got all the doors taken care of. Oh, I forgot. I gotta go up this way. Zip. I'm using my stairs because that's what I put them in here for. Um, oh, this needs to have an end rail on. You could seriously fall off of this and get hurt. Um, now, do I... I need all four green arrows, right? Green lights? Or as it fills the room, the green lights come on, huh? There they are. Okay, I see. I see. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's airtight because it's working, right? Wouldn't alien plants breaking things down make more sense than wolves? Yeah, I don't know why it's wolves, but I, I know the thing that people always did was, and I did too, was you dug a trench around your base so the wolves just fell in a trench and then they couldn't, and then when you killed the wolves, you've got, you've got pieces and parts for it. So we should be able to take our helmet off. Ah, yes. Now, speaking of the fresh air, there we are. We have no helmet on. I think we could take our space suit off too if we wanted to and walk around in here and we'd be just fine. Um, so yeah, so basically now if we want to leave, I will have to come into here. We lose a little bit of O2 right there, but other than that, we're fine. If we take a helmet off here, of course, we're in trouble because you can't have your helmet off in space. It's just not going to work out too well for you. But there we go. We've got an airtight. That's interesting. That worked just fine, didn't it? Fantastic. May want a couple more events. Uh, I don't know. To be honest with you, I we put it up just because I'd never done it before to put the air vent on, and um, I find it to be. I'm in here for such a short period of time that it doesn't really matter. I've just been leaving it off. You know, so I'm going to turn it back off again because I am running in and out working on the capital ship. If I was going to be in here all the time. Uh, It'd be a different story, but that's not the case. Now, can I take my helmet off now? Oh, nope, I can't. Okay, no, all right, that's fine. You know what I should do with our asteroid? I should put a drill rig, a certain location, anywhere up above us, and put in like five, six drills, and just let the sucker drill a hole right through the middle of the thing. You know? First time chat monster, those are ancient. Uh, those games are ancient, huh? Those are some older games. Maybe some of the first ones they did, huh? Uh, the precursor to Space Engineers. Okay. So, we, yeah, I, I kind of figured those are old ones. I was wondering if they've got any new projects that they're working on. Because they did an amazing job with this one.
Check our inventory. Let's see how we doing. Oh, uh, cockpit's filling up. Okay, we're done. We're full. We got our iron. We got our rock. Nice. Let's go to our inventory. I'm going to turn everything off just so we can get back easier. Yeah, large industrial. We got a large industrial container over here too. We'll throw that right there and we'll throw that right there. So it should start grabbing all that stuff and working it out. All right, we are home sweet home, safe and sound. We've got the Weevil back in action. She's uh, doing a good job of welding up our capital ship that we're working on and have been working diligently on. I made some changes that I showed you today. Of course, we're going to put antennas on this and there's going to be all kinds of interesting things, you know, sticking out from her. But uh, here it is. I'm most happy about having this door on the side of the ship. I'm just thrilled about that. I don't know why, but it excites me to have that door there. Um, but thank you so much for being here and as always for your help. You guys have been, as usual, uh, super fantastic about it and just... Um, you know, you're saving my butt every time you're here. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I am the Radio Man 3 You have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.